Welcome to Naive Investor. My name is Gustavo Sayani. Today is July 1st, 2019. Welcome to the second half of 2019. It's not like I'm the gateway guy at the second half, but you know, let's enjoy this this time. And uh, this is our episode number 471. Today's randomly selected company is called RNI. Uh, Hodo Bangs used to be this, this company's name. Let's take a look at the, its website. So this is a real estate company. I think the interesting thing about it is that it focuses on not so obvious places. You know, we're looking here, Faded Santana Bahia. Let's see more here. See, like Vazia Grande, Mato Grosso. I think that's the cool thing about this company, Pacatuba, Ceará. Because I, I believe these are huge vectors of growth for Brazil over the next oh, upcoming decades, really. Uh, contrast this with those companies who built things in cities of Sao Paulo, Rio. That's okay, but you know. Our, you have to be really confident that Brazil is going to keep growing only in those oh, these huge cities that are overpopulated already. So I think this is what's interesting about this company. So uh, have I ever uh, invested in in RNI? No, I haven't. I, I but I have to say this is one that's been in my watch list. And and with all that said, I ended up investing in two different companies. Uh, Cirela, which is more of a large, uh, large company, in, uh, which does a lot of business in the big cities, and Trisu, which also does a lot of São Paulo. So, um, yeah, let's just save that information for posterior, you know, thinking, I guess. And um, so, if we look at the company, this is num these are numbers from third quarter of 2018. But we see a company that had debt under control, um, under 0 0.5, which would be our top desirable uh, ratio here. Liabilities under 1, 0 0.82, pretty great. A current ratio above 2, 2.42, pretty great. So nothing bad here. And here, the price to earnings ratios here... Uh, clean up this. I don't know what this is. Anyway, uh, the price to earnings ratios, a ratio at this point was extremely attractive. Extremely attractive. 4.33 PE10. And even uh, comparing with the free cash flow, 12.85 over 10 years, pretty great. And over five years, 2.98, come on. But as you can see, the company is very unstable here. It's not solid earnings, and the numbers aren't so big. You know, 18 million a year in free cash flow. So the company is small. So I guess that's what made me invest in the other companies. Also, it's not the most liquid company, so on and so forth. So those are broad reasons I never really became an investor. Anyway, it can always be time. Oh, another reason is, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, the real estate companies were making like 35, 30 to 35 percent of my portfolios. So I did not feel like I should just uh, concentrate even more. And we will know if I did a, uh, a good thing or not so far. Okay. In practical terms, now we can update our numbers. So we can do the year and we can start by uh, the, the net equity. So net equity right now, 626 million. So it has been dropping. So this is something to, to really think about. What about their liabilities? Uh, 226 short term 
plus 339 long term, 565. So net equity went down, liabilities went up, so this number has worsened. But as you can see, 1.1, now 0 0.90. Three years hovering around 1, so I don't think that's too, too bad at all. Okay. Um, now, debt in a stricter sense. So short-term debt here, empréstimos e financiamento. 98, the benchers none, and for the long term, another 219 million, so 317 million. That is up, but as you can see, no, excuse me, that is down, uh, and as you can see, like down, 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 they seem to be paying back, paying off some debt there because the equity, uh, when down, the ratio between debt and equity now is at 0.51, which is ever so slightly above our desired range of 0 to 0 0.5. Now, will we give up on the company because of this? No, we won't. All right, current ratio. So uh, current assets, in this case, 477. And we divide that by the current liabilities, 226. And that's 2.11. So it's worse, but not uh, below 2, which is pretty good, and even less so below 1.5, which is still a minimum there. Cool. Revenue 183. It's funny, I did not get the revenue for 2017. Let me do it. 200. And 90. I don't have revenue for 2016. Maybe we can get it later. So this is scary. This is very scary. Uh, the drop in revenue here, still in 2018, 183. And earnings or losses here? Yeah, they had a loss of 27 million here for the year. Just adjust, uh, updating the inflation adjustments here. And onwards to free cash flow. So consolidated 2018. So free cash flow here will be operating cash flow, in this case minus 11, plus investments, which is a positive eight, so minus three. Cool. Let me make double sure the averages here are set to the right places. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Cool. So we have a company that has turned out 50 million per year on average over the last 10. Over the last five, minus 20. Free cash flow over the last 10, 27. Over the last uh, five, uh, excuse me, let's adjust for inflation. 16 and 71 over the last five. They owe 317 million and they have been able to earn 50. So it would take them six and a, almost six, six years and five months to pay back their debt if everything uh, would stay the same and they decided to use all their earnings to pay back their debt not counting uh, interest rates that would incur uh, so yeah let's update also uh, the market cap Three hundred and five million right now.
Yeah, so 305 divided by 233, 1.39, 30.90%. Uh, That's the appreciation in market cap over about a year. And I suppose it's hard to say, uh, but I think we may have done better than that over like a year or a year or so. 10.03. I'm just persisting these numbers. 19.22. Yeah, I think we should come back to this company at least to see what went on in the first quarter of 2019 and compare it with these other companies in which I have invested to see, you know, to, to make a sanity check there. So with that said, we'll, we'll do it, uh, one more on Hoda Banks or RNI. And um, if you're not a subscriber yet and you've gotten this far in the video, please consider becoming a subscriber. You may have the bug. And you can do this by uh, clicking or tapping on the subscribe button somewhere uh, probably below me. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, suggestions, criticism, and especially if you spot mistakes in the analysis, please leave a comment in the video. I'll be happy to write you back as soon as I can. And meanwhile, have a beautiful day and see you next time. Bye-bye.